Pisces and Aries. Pisces, if you're dealing with the Aries, this is going to be your love reading. I hope that you all are uh, radiating that positive energy at this time. So let's see what's in the air. Let's just see what's in the air. What energy is shared between Pisces and Aries. Okay, and we have entertainment. Hmm, and it looked like some dominance, bondage, fetishes, okay? Seven, 34, the number 34 equals seven. Seven is the number of intelligence, you know, um, genius, okay? Sick genius, fucking sick ass genius, okay? But it's entertaining, Pisces and Aries. It is definitely entertaining, and um seductive and it may it seems very passionate i see that person has a wand in there and it could be like uh you know bondage fetish uh just it it, it feels intense it feels very passionate very entertaining maybe y'all role play a lot y'all dress up and do certain things y'all get smart and creative about how y'all go about this situation but pisces and aries it's interesting, okay? It's a lot of bondage fetishes. It's, it's, I don't know if it's feet, the head, the hands. I don't know. Somebody likes to dress up and role play. So let's hop into it. We're going to use the Stranger Things deck to get this information. All right. So what is the energy between Pisces and Aries? Whoa. <laughs> it's reckless, y'all. It is reckless. Okay, it's like boom, <laughs> y'all reckless man. Y'all play too much. Y'all play too much. Pisces and Aries. Okay, well let's see. What is the energy? I see the sun. What is the energy for Pisces and Aries? Okay, we got the king of strands, king of wands. And it looks like a frozen moment in time. Like this person, you're like, okay, I'm a, this Aries energy, okay? So it's like, oh man, you sitting inside of a star, really happy, a smile on their face. But it's like a little kid drew a picture of their dad, you know, in, in, in a happy moment. Right. So it's like this Aries, you know, they got a they got this poker face. They got this stability about them. They got this structure where it's like full speed ahead, but I'm the same. It's the same cuz this picture is a frozen moment in time. It doesn't change. So, you know, they're really stubborn. Okay? Really stubborn. They want what they want and they want it how they want it and how they picture it. They want it how they picture it. It's just got to be the way they picture it. Okay? King of Wands. Okay, Four of Cups, okay? Mm. So with the Four of Cups, it's like your King of Wands may be missing something like cuz this Four of Cups is Pisces. You feel like you don't have enough, okay? Like the Four of Cups is like I'm detaching. I'm bored. Uh, I'm not seeing what I have right in front of me. Now, the King of Wands is someone strong, you know, structured to be the emperor one day. And we know the emperor is controlling and, and very guarded and and stubborn and just uh, want the world to work the way they want it to work. And you not really into all of that like that. You know, you need to be free. So it's like, oh, uh, you look at, you may feel it as like, Control and energy, and you don't like to be controlled. Pisces cannot be controlled, okay? You have to give them the space to be free. You have to give them space to themselves. You have to give them space to be creative. So, Pisces, you may be feeling a little bit of detached uh, overall. You know what I'm saying? Throughout this situation, overall, you detach, but you're still dealing with it. I don't know if it's because of the entertainment or whatever, but, you know, a lot of passion. Okay, and there is emotion. Okay, oh, King of Spokes. 
<laughs> you love this person. You understand them, you know, you understand who you dealing with, but there are moments where you feel detached, but you just be mature about the situation. Okay. I feel like it's very challenging here because there's a king of wand and then there's a king of cup. Okay. So I don't know if this is a same sex couple or I don't know if you both are in your masculine energy. Like I don't understand because I know for Pisces, if I'm detached and, and feeling bored, oh yeah, I'm going strong. I got to get in my shit. I got to do me. You know what I'm saying? So it could be because of that, that your person may flip flop into feminine or masculine energy, depending on, you know, if this same sex or whatever. Okay. And then we have the nine of scoops. Okay. So maybe y'all just somebody who deal with each other. Like this nine of scoops, this speaks of being single. I want a compassion partner. I want a commitment, but I'm single for now and I can do what I want to do. Right. And maybe this is all about the entertainment. Maybe this is my F buddy. You know, maybe this is just somebody I entertain. Maybe you're in exotic dancer or an entertainer of some sort of call girl or sugar baby or something i don't know but it's it's this energy of detachment for you pisces like okay it, it gets born it's the same thing we do the same thing it's the same okay king of wands he's sitting there like frozen in time my way or no way this is the way i'm a star you know i i get it how i get it i do it how i do it right what's crossing all this energy is the five of scoops yeah it's a lot of lack okay it's not enough compromise even though the entertainment part and, and look she doesn't even look happy to entertain Okay, but you know, this a king of wine who will one day be an emperor. It could be a money thing. Okay, so huh, I don't know. Let's hop into it, Aries and Pisces. What is going on here? Okay, so let's talk to the king of strands. We're going to talk to Aries because, you know, you can't deny that that's their energy. Oh, and they got the queen of strands. <laughs> Oh my God. It's like, uh, this King of Wands, this Aries person, they really, um, got a special connection to you. Okay. They gonna hold on to you. They do want something long term here with you. Okay. And it's just for you, you know, how they seeing you as their divine match. You know, it's it's like you embody a lot of their energy here, but you know, you inspired, right? You're not so structured and stubborn and unwilling to compromise and change. You're open because you understand, right? That King of Spoke, you understand hard times. You know, the Queen of Wands, she's an observer. She's been through the struggle. She's been drugged through the mud and came out clean on the other side. She's a very beautiful person, you know, and she she's not afraid to get her hands dirty. But she don't want to. You know what I'm saying? It's like you want this person to see things different. You want them to do things different. You don't want them to be so stuck just being one way. It's like, I can't deal. I can't deal. You make my eyes wonder. It's like, look at you looking off for your next fucking victim, probably. I, I can't do this. I can't be stuck here like this. And anybody dealing with the Pisces need, really need to understand that, that, you know, you have to change or be willing to compromise, be exciting, you be creative, you know, just not stubborn all the time. It's cool to be structured and, um, <clears throat> you know, assertive, but all day, every day, like there's no moments of joy, right? We just going to do the same thing all the time. I'm too creative to be stuck like that. I need to be freer, right? So it, it seems like, yeah, the King of Wands wants something stable with you. They see you as a divine counterpart and all of that, but your feelings may not be what they think they are. Okay, so they think of you as this is it. This is my match. We enter. They feel like you like it. 
You know what I'm saying? Whatever they doing, however, whatever energy they stuck in, if it's the same old thing, they feel like you like it. Okay, they are very unaware that you are disconnected from it or bored with it. Okay, they are unaware of that. They feel like you are entertained. You like to be spanked. You like, you know, you just there. But if, you know, they were really paying attention to you, it seems like you look bored. Okay, but anywho, their feelings, they feel like you the one, you my divine counterpart. And that's what it is. Okay, two of cups. <laughs> two of spokes okay this is it for your king of wands they feel like they won they got what they wanted and that they don't have to really work hard no more for the relationship part it's standard and it's original and it's boring okay even though there's a lot of entertainment I feel like it's in a passionate way um, this could be your person falling for you and you not falling for them. They feel like you like it, whatever it is, they feel like you like it and they attach to it and they see something coming out of it. They see a relationship coming out of it. You on the other hand, feeling in this fourth cup energy, feeling detached, you feeling bored, you feeling like you not like there's nothing really here, but there is something here. That you don't see because the four of cups speaks of missing an opportunity or not seeing something that lies right in front of you. Okay, so because you're bored and detached, it seems like you're falling away from what excited you about it in the first place. You you don't it's like you're not remembering what attracted you to this in the first place. So let's talk to this four of cups and let's see what's going on. Oh, and it's the empress. Oh, you want them to value you more, right? You you in a position like I'm the empress. You want to be in control. You want to control this king of wands. Because see, they came out as king of wands. You came out as an empress. So you feel like you ahead of them, right? You feel like you want to control this situation or that, you know, you want things to change. It's like you fighting for change, when, you know, the emperor is, in, is, is is encouraged to just relax and sit your ass down. Stop nagging and going through all of that. You don't have to do all that. Chill. Right? What you so guarded for? Why are you so tense? <laughs> you know what's going on. Right? The number three, communication. Okay? Speak on it. Speak on it. Speak on it. Don't react. Speak on it. Okay, period. If it's something you want to change, if it's something you feel like your person is missing out on, if you're tired of being bored or whatever, express it. Express it. Speak on it. And, and maybe this situation can flow a little better. Um, The King of Wands is not a mind reader. Okay? If you make them feel good and make them feel like everything they doing is right, but deep down inside, that ain't really what you feel. Tell them because they don't know what you feeling. They don't know what you thinking. Okay. So there could be some issues that lie there if the communication is off. I see if the communication is off with Pisces and Aries, there could be trouble. Okay. King of Scoops coming with this four of cups, Pisces, for you. That's the king of pinnacle. That's Mr. Conceal, don't feel. And he looking like, really? 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 Disappointed. Just, I'm disappointed. Right? Mm, mm, mm. So, Mr. Conceal to me is also the each one teach one type of person. So, you know, the king of pinnacles, they're pretty stubborn as well. They're pretty stuck in their ways. They're pretty calculated and structured and they think their way is the best way. Now, we have another king, okay? It's the kings. We came to see the kings, okay? Some more masculine energy is out here, okay? So I'm not sure if Pisces, you could be entertained by someone else and what you get from that, you want from this. You have to speak on what you want Okay, you have to open up the King of Cups. The King of Pentacles is very concealed, not feeling, very money motivated. Okay, 
So it's like this Aries could be wanting more of a relationship type of thing. And you could be wanting more of a money type of thing, right? Because I don't see you emotionally attached to this situation at all. Even though the king of, of cups is out here. I don't see you being emotionally attached. I see it being a money thing. It's all about entertainment. Nobody said I had to like it. La, 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 skip. But over here, how your Aries feeling, they're very passionate. They want what they want. They usually get what they want. And... um very convincing, but you make it seem like it's okay. Whatever it is, you make it seem like it's okay. So your Aries is good with doing what they're doing. Until you speak different, it will never be different. King of Cups. You do understand that, right? Okay. King of Cups comes with the Ten of Strands. Stop acting like you love this person if you don't. Because that's pressured. That's misleading someone. It's immature down with the ABCs written on there. It's immature. It's, it's just, if, if this entertainment thing, sugar baby, sugar daddy, dancer, call girl, gigolo, whatever the pimp, whatever's going on in this situation, if you don't truly love this person, stop making them believe you do. If this is about money, you're going too far in a passionate way. This person has developed emotion for you. They want to take you off the street. So what the fuck ever is going on? They don't, they, they want you for you. They want you, period. So if this is all about entertainment and partying and money and sex and whatever that comes with that life, your king of, of wand wants a relationship out of it. Okay? They want you to be an empress. To They want you to be that empress. They value you in some type of way. But you value in what they can do for you. Take the energies high resume. So if you don't really love this person or care about them, stop playing and acting like you do because it's immature and it's preschool. Okay? It's preschool. The world... Okay, this person may be older than you or vice versa, but it does speak of a completion. It does speak of a new beginning or something needing to end in order to be complete. If this isn't something you want, you have to close off this cycle. You have to, this is a loose end that can become a huge, big burden. Quit playing with people's feelings. If it's about the money, Make that very clear. If it's about love, make that very clear. Because I'm seeing somebody in confusion. Okay, we got the nine of scoops right here. And that speaks of being a single person who really wants a companion. So I don't know if it's you that really want a companion or Aries that really want a companion. But somebody's, you're good enough to take care of yourself. You don't need this situation is what I'm hearing. But all this entertainment has created something more. Than what it was initially supposed to be. And now we got feelings involved. And that's just a fact. Okay. But it's time to be real and speak truth. Okay. So what is this nine of scoops for Pisces and Aries? What's this nine of pentacles? And it's the six of dice. It's the six of swords. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. It's done. It's time to move on. Because it's done got deep. And before we get any deeper, before there be bloodshed or chaos or, you know, make peace with it. Throw in the towel. Throw in the towel. Move on. Okay? Move on. You win some, you lose some. This card says, here, there. Um, I can't even see the other word. But anyway, it's time to move on. Okay, it's time to make peace with this situation, rather than speaking the truth, coming clean, being honest, to make peace, to make peace, okay? Whatever, make peace, two of swords. There's a decision that need to be made. It looks like somebody made a decision and they on a whole different path in life and you still trailing along. It's like you ain't let that go yet, though, because they still there. It's like either somebody won't leave you alone or let you go or you on another wave in life and you making this person just 
believe that they have a place in your life and, you know, keep it stringing them along, gaslighting them, breadcrumbing them. Okay, so a decision must be made. If you're on a different path, if what you're looking for ain't what they're looking for, it has to be spoken, okay? Because somebody's trying to please somebody. Somebody trying to be there for somebody and the other person just using it for their own personal sickness or whatever, okay? What's crossing this energy? And it's the Ace of Scoops with sprinkles on top, Okay. So this has the potential to grow into something, okay? It has the potential to be something solid, okay? To open up new pathways. It does. It really does. But with the eight of spokes under that, if that's not what you're looking for, if that's not what makes you happy, how it started, what we did to get here, if you don't feel so proud of what you've done and, you know, uh, maybe a little insecure about the whole situation or feeling like, how could somebody love me or whatever's going on, then move on. But if, you know, if, the, you know, vice versa, it could work out. It could be something. I mean, it is one day going to be an emperor. I believe that the king of wands always transforms into an emperor. Okay. But the empress out here focused solely on her money, her finances. Okay. So this is the energy Pisces and Aries. I hope it resonated. Let's get a message in love here. Let's see what the universe, you know, is saying about love. What does this situation need? Okay. Respect. Oh my God. Respect for one another's choices, you know, because, because first of all, what I know is you chose them. You chose to be in this situation and nobody's better than nobody. So respect. Okay. No matter what we do in life, if, if we sugar babying it out, if we dancers, if we call girls, if we gigolos, if we pimps or whatever's going on, you chose this. So you were somewhere attracted to something in you is all this. So there's a no judgment zone here. But there does need to be respect. Okay? So you value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Period. Respect the fucking game. If it's something you want, pursue it. If it's not, move on, let it go. We not breadcrumbing. We not using people. You know, we not feeling guilty about what we done, where we came from, what we doing. We living. We learn. We move on. That's the energy. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity to see which chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces and Aries, you have the third chakra and it's the solar plexus chakra. And this one is relevant to oneness and unity. Okay, had to throw my glasses on. So I accept the oneness of all life and I know that I am one with all others on this journey. I support them and I let them support me. I am brave and not afraid to ask for assistance. I allow myself to empathize and sympathize with others as I choose to see love in and all around me. I see everything as a part of my own life and I accept others for who they are. I find common ground with others rather than differences as this brings harmony into their life and into mine. Okay, so oneness and unity is the positive of energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit the like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces and Aries. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.